Hello campers! I am the Canadian Beaver. I just want to welcome each and every one of you viewers, campers and camp counselors to this week's adventure. And this week's adventure is brought to you by the Stealth Camping Alliance. And basically it's a bunch of great brothers and sisters who love to go stealth camping. And, this, and it was all created by uh, three gentlemen. Uh, one was uh, Crow, Josh, and Paul. And they started off by challenging each other on a nice challenge. So, right now, I have a challenge that was brought to all of us by Day Tripper. And Day Tripper wants us to travel two hours north from where we live, and we have to walk it. So, uh, the only thing is that we here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, just had it snow about 20 centimeters the other day, and we have winter squall warnings ahead of us. So this is going to be a big challenge. Thankfully I brought my compass to lay me up north and uh, let's see what kind of trouble I will get into. Let's follow my nose. And we are off. All right, I just want to show you my uh, what I'm taking with me here. I got a sled with all my stuff in there. I strapped it all on with a bunch of bungee cords and hopefully it lasts. So I guess the best thing to do is just put one foot in front of the other. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking out the door. You never will get where you're going if you never get up on your feet. Come on, there's a good tailwind blowing. A fast walking man is hard to beat. Put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put oh, Paul would be proud. The first cannabis store along the hike. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna keep following my nose. Look at this, 154.2. Well, thank you, Day Tripper. I'm saving money on gas. And this is what I'm walking through right now. Holy smokes. Woo! <laughs> Gotta love these Canadian winters. Ha! shoes and I boarded the plane touched down in the land of the Delta Blues in the middle of the pouring rain WC handy won't you look down over me yeah I got a first class ticket but I'm as blue as a boy can be then I'm walking in Memphis Walking with my feet ten feet off a beam Walking in Memphis But do I really feel the way I feel? Well, I miss the days of budget beer Hey, I got another one for you, Paul Alright, brothers and sisters, I think I'm going to make this a little bit more interesting I think I'm going to join uh, the Ministry of Silly Walks
because I have a highway in front of me so I have to uh, find the overpass I think it's just down the road here and then I could move on down and finally get into some wooded area because <laughs> I do not think I could uh, self camp anywhere here without getting caught all right campers let's continue following our nose oh, check this area out. look at this <laughs> Someone uh, had an interesting night, that's for sure. All these beer cans all over. I don't like seeing that. And too bad because in uh, Ontario, you can trade all these in for 10 cents each. And if you bring them over to uh, Quebec, you can get 20 cents. But uh, I don't have my big garbage bag with me. I might have to come down here another day. But look at this, a big path all the way down here. Look at this. <laughs> we got a bunch of beverages of the day and look at this big giant silo uh, which is giving me an idea for another adventure wow well i found the other bus uh, just as i expected it's just a little bit windy I uh, made it to the end of that long, long bridge and I'm now in the wooded area here. Uh, it looks like it's a path for cross-country skiers and fat bike, mountain biking, looks like snowshoers and everything. So very interesting, but I found some woods. So I'm going to follow my nose and see what kind of trouble I can get into. I'm uh, just checking my compass here and it says north is this way, right on this little side path. So I'll be interested to see where this takes me. I'm about, let's see how far I am. I'm already an hour into this adventure. So I have one more hour to go. Uh, these paths are, looks like they're uh, smooth down so it's gonna be easy walking but as soon as I get off the beaten path it's going to be hard so I'm still following north one more hour to go and uh, let's see where my nose takes me I got a joke for each and every one of you 
If slow old men use walking sticks, what do fast old men use? Hurricanes? <laughs> oh. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm talking. I was walking and I noticed that someone has been doing a little bit decorating in this area and oh my goodness that tree is going to fall. Listen to it creak. That's what you got to worry about while being out here. Holy smokes. You can just hear it. Creak, creak, creak. Oh look at this. Nice little heart on the tree. Oh ho ho ho. I'm definitely not going to be around when that sucker falls and it'll probably today <laughs> holy moly and look here's some uh, more decorations someone actually had a nice little blast going through here I guess but oh yeah that's gonna be breaking any time soon oh crap I gotta ha. Oh. I have to follow the rules. I guess they weren't lying about a uh, winter squall warning. Oh man. Thanks, day tripper. Here I go. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to attempt going across here. The wind died just a little bit, but it's still going. Uh, this is uh, the Ottawa River, so hopefully it is frozen. It looks like this area is pretty good to cross. Uh, see those tree lines over there? That's where I'm headed for the night. Alright, wish me luck. Walking down through the park I'm gonna walk in the moonlight Walk until the night get down I'm going hard walking Down on the avenue I'm going out walking Down on the avenue I'm gonna walk so long to she don't know what to do Well, I did not fall through, I made it over, but it's still windy! I have to yell! You probably can't even hear me! <laughs> oh! I've got myself in trouble this time. I'm having a hard time finding a place to put up tents or camp. I don't think anybody's coming out here to find me. All right, campers, I found a spot to put up my tent. It was so windy. I usually show a little bit of magic putting it up, but this time I needed to get it up pretty quickly. That's what she said. <laughs> but anyways, I am in this tent now. It is so windy out there. They weren't lying. Those squalls are going fast and the wind, it's just amazing to see uh, uh, how windy it really is. 
I'm here. I'm going to see. Uh, just try to set up all my stuff in here. I screwed in the tent with the, the right pegs and hopefully that I do not lose it or it flies away on me while I'm here at camp. So campers, I'm going to see you soon. I'm going to get all set up here. It has actually been uh, 2 hours and 26 minutes and 13 seconds. And I finally have, have got the tent set up. All right, I want to show you what my camp uh, area, campsite looks like. If you can see, it's right here. I kind of protected myself from the trees here and tied myself down as you can see. You really need to do that. Uh, also, I noticed while I was around here, there's a hole down there. I don't know if uh, there's an animal going to be visiting me tonight, but uh, I think this is a good place for me to camp as long as that animal doesn't bug me. <laughs> All right, on that side over there, you can see uh, the other bigger part of Ottawa River. And this is the other inlet just over here. where I walked across to. So the winds are still going strong, but this is my campsite for the night. I also have to watch out. I looked for some widow makers, but couldn't really see any except that one right there. I tried pulling on it and it just was not coming apart. So uh, it's not that big, but it could fall on me during the night. So as you can see, strap myself in for the night. I'm going to go back in there, warm up a bit from this uh, wind, and hopefully it dies down. Well, campers, it's my favorite time of the day. And you know what time that is? Yes, you're right. It's the beverage of the hour. And today I've got a nice one here. It's called Tread Lightly. It's by Muskoka Brewery Company, and it's a light beer. Ah. <laughs> well, I chose this one because it has a big uh, footprint on it, if you could see. And it looks like uh, people are walking and hiking and doing everything in the woods. So I chose to pick this beverage uh, for the beverage of the hour. And it's crafted in Muskoka, so another Ontario beverage. Campers, viewers, camp counselors, get your beverages of choice. Could be a coffee, hot chocolate on this cold day, or maybe a hot toddy, whatever floats your boat. You can grab whatever you like. And let's, today, because I'm doing a Stealth Camping Alliance Challenge, I want to say cheers to each and every one of the Stealth Camping Alliance members. Each and every one of you are just so awesome and amazing. So I want to do a cheers to each and every one of you. Cheers. Ah, oh, this is awesome right now after that long walk. I'm telling you, I even was getting a little bit sweaty underneath and that's not good when in during the winter time. As you can see on to my left here, you have all the names of the Stealth Camping Alliance members. And uh, I've subscribed to each one of you and I like watching e all your content. So keep up the good work and be stealthy. I also have a special, uh, not a request, but I wanna say a special happy birthday out there to Camp Counselor Ashley. She has been a loyal viewer since day one 
with the Canadian Beaver. So I want to say cheers to you, Ashley. Happy birthday and all the best. And I hope you have more and many more to come. So cheers to you. It is starting to get dark already. Yeah, spring is not coming anytime sooner. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I picked the worst days to go out and try these stealth camping challenges. My goodness. You know what? Where I am right now, I don't think anyone is ever going to be coming this way. I don't see tracks anywhere. And, oh, there is someone over on the other side as we're speaking. Oh my goodness. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can see there's a guy way over there. Uh, do you see him? Oh, and he's walking. Oh, what are they doing? There's three of them. I don't know if they see me. I might be caught. <laughs> I honestly, I never thought I would have so, but there is a path over there, and that's where I did come from. So, I'm hoping that. Uh, I'm camouflaged enough, probably not, but uh, I think I'm pretty good. They're not going to say anything. I hope not. Uh, and if they do, well, I don't think anyone is going to be coming for me tonight, especially in this weather. I'm going to keep an eye on this and see what the hell they are doing. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, stay tuned. Okay, it looks like they just kept walking by. Uh, I might be caught right now with a snowmobiler. Here we go, let's see what happens here. Oh, here comes a guy right there. Uh-oh, shit. Uh, I don't think he gives a shit about me. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he gives a poop about me. I mean, <laughs> And I thought I was being stealthy. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, holy moly. In the middle of a winter squall, three teenagers, they're gone. They're walking off doing something now. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, a snowmobile just came right up here, right next to me. Well, okay. It is kind of funny sometimes how you could be in the middle of nowhere and there's always someone around or creeping by or spotting you. Those three teenagers, they were just having fun across. Uh, even if they did see me, I don't think they would have uh, said anything about it. And then what really freaked me out was that snowmobiler. He had like all the red uh, jacket. He looked actually pretty official. And it's wondering, like, it's weird how someone can wear something like that and you can think, uh oh, here comes uh, the cops or something. But no, he came around. I think he saw me and he just turned around and he took off too, which thank goodness he did. So, yeah. I'm in the tent here. I have the lights on. It's freezing. It's cold. Yeah, I'm... This is uh, an adventure that I had fun on the way here, and now it is cold. The wind is out. I can't even go outside have a fire. Uh, so I am basically stuck in this tent. So... <laughs> There's not much uh, for all you viewers and camp counselors and campers to watch me just sitting here freezing my butt off. But uh, if something turns up or something happens, I will surely let each and every one of you know. Alright, let's see where this night leads us. Let's follow our nose. <laughs> It's a cold one. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, I hope I can survive this night. But I was sitting here in this tent, uh, not doing much, 
And I just realized, Camp Counselor Justin still does not know what I did. <laughs> uh, he, I talked to him, and he said he's seen a couple of my uh, videos, but he hasn't seen all of them. And <laughs> it's kind of funny because uh, every time I see him, I'm just waiting to see if uh, he, he's going to give me heck for what I did. But he still hasn't found out. So for any of you newer uh, viewers or campers or camp counselors, you should really go back and check out some of my older episodes and... Uh, you're going to see a little bit of uh, history that uh, I have with uh, Camp Counselor Justin. So, I'm just trying to stay warm here, campers. I hope all of you are warm and healthy and safe. And you're on your, sitting on your couches while you watch this or behind your desk or anything like that. Because it is freezing. Uh... Yeah, I. This has been a big challenge. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. Whew. Well, I am so happy that I am a sandwich guy. Because if I brought any kind of meat or any kind of meal to cook on the fire tonight, it would be impossible. The wind was so fierce and fast that I couldn't even start a fire. Uh, yes, the wind has died down now, thankfully, which is good, but... You campers, you camp counselors, all know that I am a sandwich guy. And today, hey, one of the best sandwiches you can get out there is good old Subway. And the thing with Subway is I remember I used to get a foot long cold cut combo for five bucks. And you know how much it is now? It's nine dollars and five cents. The same sub. And maybe I just <laughs> maybe it's been a long, long time ago, but man, I used to give them five bucks for a foot long and now nah. It's you're giving about a, a ten biller. I'm gonna enjoy this sandwich for the night. Oh yeah, perfect. The thing is, it's a little bit, <laughs> uh, it is a little bit frozen, uh, but I'm gonna attempt to try to eat this anyways. So, I hope each and every one of you are doing fine, and yeah, I'm going to have my supper before I go to bed. <laughs> Whew, mm, yummy. Mm. Well, campers, it is getting late. It's already 10.30. It's freezing out there. I need to snuggle into my thick big sleeping bag yes again I did not forget to bring my electric socks so these are definitely going to be plugged in and ready to go Whew. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed this episode and I will see you each and every one of you in the morning. Good night. Before going to bed, what do you call a sleepwalking priest? A roaming Catholic. <laughs>
Oh my goodness. Good night, campers. I am alive. I want to say good morning to each and every one of you, but it's not a good morning for me. I did not get much sleep at all last night. I kept tossing and turning and it just was a cold, miserable night. Uh, yeah, I definitely do not want to do this again. <laughs> Oh, I gotta be a little bit more prepared or bring uh, some sort of heating device or something because this is ridiculous. Uh, thank you to Day Tripper for the challenge. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the two hour walk home, but once I do get back home, I'm going straight to my warm bed. Thank you so much. Um, can't wait to see what all the other Stealth Camping Alliance members have done on this adventure. And uh, if I could give this whole experience uh, a rating out of 10, it would be my lowest one ever. And I would give it a three. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of walking long distances with a big sled and a heavy backpack <laughs> and then trying to survive the night uh, in uh, a winter snow squall <laughs> where I can't even make a fire to warm up. Uh, yeah, so that's why I give it a 3 out of 10. I just want all of you to know that the trip is the adventure, not the destination. I'm gonna pack up here. I'm done with this. I'm I don't even bring coffee. So I'm gonna pack up and head home. Campers, camp counselors, viewers, remember to always follow your nose. <laughs>